Do you know what happens to the millions of engineers who graduate every year in India? Well, chances are you are also an engineer. Talking about me, I am an engineering student in Nepal. Watching all the series about engineering students, seeing engineers starting a YouTube channel, <coughs> and importantly watching the engineers do everything except engineering i started to research on this topic hi everyone and welcome back to the another episode of the inside story 15 lakh engineers graduate every year in india out of which only 2.5 lakh students land relevant jobs in technical domains out of those roughly 2.2 lakh job openings are from software domain and under which 1.8 lakh jobs are in it services if you look at this number closely 12.5 lakh students are either unemployed or do not get jobs on their respective domains and those who get the job luckily are still underpaid on an average of fresher earns around 3 to 5 lakhs per annum Let's take an average of 4 lakhs per annum. For BTEC, private colleges usually take around 8 to 15 lakh for the full course. Let's take 11 lakh on average. Now, if we look at this closely, a fresher who earns around 4 lakhs per annum has to work around 3 years just to get his education fee recovered. That too if he saves the entire amount that he earns. So the question is, why still engineering? In India, throw a stone from the sky and there is 99% chance that it will hit an engineer. Engineering has become a social status, a necessity for success and a backup plan for the future. But is it really worth it? First of all, the majority of Indian youth fall into this trap due to parental pressure and the need to maintain a good social status. They are told, first do your engineering and then follow your passion. <laughs> But what happens when their passion is left behind in the dust? Section 2. The cost of engineering education Even after spending lakhs and lakhs on coaching, students are not done yet. Engineering colleges are ready to suck them in for 4 years and more. Private colleges are the only hope for the students who couldn't make it to top governmental colleges like IIT. And they take advantage by opening their mouth wide open for fees and expenses. The curriculum in majority of the engineering colleges is outdated and they provide very little information about the real working industry. Section 3 the myth of one crore package. Most parents force their kids to take up engineering because they have heard some IITNs get one crore package. But it is not as simple as that. Domestic packages won't be even close to 50,000 a month. The reality of this is hidden because if it were exposed, the business model will shut down. Section 4, the problem with the education system. The education system focuses more on content delivery more than application of the content. Almost every student aim for short term examination success rather than getting deep and practical knowledge. The system is outdated and has a very little scope in terms of innovation, leaving the students with hardly any practical knowledge for solving real world problems. Section 5, the consequences of an outdated education system. Despite technological advances all over the world, engineering education in India has failed to keep up with the times. The handful of students who are actually interested in engineering are offered jobs abroad. And why shouldn't they take them if the necessary support is not given to them in their own country for the development as an engineer? So what happens to the millions of engineers who graduate every year? As supply is higher than demand, not all get jobs. Subsequently, the race and criteria for jobs even get tougher. But what happened to the promise and dreams of IT jobs given to these students before joining the college? According to employability survey done in 2019, 80% of Indian engineers are not fit for job. So in my personal view, education should be more than just a transaction. First, engineering and then MBA has become popular for a reason and it is high time for change. Thank you for watching. This is the Inside Story signing off.